thought I'd make a quick video on ruler postulate. Ruler postulate is ridiculously easy. Um, in this case, if I were to measure out this set of blocks, I mean, it would be awesome if my life would always start out where the edge is matched up. So I can just say, oh yeah, it's four, right? And match it up evenly. So I just go over and measure it as to be four. Life doesn't always work that way. So sometimes I have to make minor adjustments. In this case, it starts at three and ends at seven. But I already know that it's four. So the relationship is really seven minus a three, I'm sorry. This represents the end that's furthest to the right, which is the one you should put first. Then you subtract the end that's furthest to the left, and you get a final answer of four. So let's look at a couple to see, you know, the types of problems that you'll end up with. This is what they really look like. What are the lengths of AD, AC, and BE? Uh, it's nice to go ahead and make sure that you mark out the values, and that'll make your life way easier. So if I know that this is between negative 6 and negative 8, and it's on the dot, which or on the little tick mark, which it should be, this is actually at negative 7. B is on negative 2, of course. I'm going to go ahead and circle them to show myself. This is on 2. This is between 6 and 8, so that would be 7. And this is between 8 and 10, so that would be 9. Now, if they ask me what the length of AD is, I could count in this case because they have a scale of 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I could do that. That would be easy as long as you have the scale there. If you don't, if the scale is different, so say it goes up by 5 every time, the counting by 1s thing doesn't really work as well, but you could still get the answer if you count by 5s. Uh, but the easier way to do it is start with the number on the right, so the D in this case, which would be positive 7. And then I need to subtract the second number, so in this case, negative 7. 7 minus negative 7 is 14. And for a length, you should always get a positive answer. If you get a negative length, that doesn't really make any sense. I mean, it can go down, but if you're measuring something, you won't get a negative number unless you're talking about direction, which we're not in this case. For AC, I would do 2 minus negative 7. And that should give me 9, or 2 plus 7, which is 9. And I can count that up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. See, ruler postulate is easy. And the last one, BE. Well, E is 9. B is negative 2, so it's 9 minus negative 2. So that should give me 11. And if I count it up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. See, it's very simple. All you have to do is take the one that's furthest to the right and subtract the one that's furthest to the left. Sometimes you will get questions like this one. Which segment is congruent to segment AB? Is it CE, CD, BD, or none of the above? I'm going to go ahead and help myself up by marking these up. This is at negative 7. This is at negative 2. This one's at 0. This one's at 5. And this one is at 7. So if I need to know uh, how large AB is, A is here and B is here, so I would do negative 2 minus, I'm going to go ahead and make a mark for AB just so I know later, negative 2 minus negative 7. And if you work that out, it will give you 5. So AB's value is 5. So I need to make a comparison statement about uh, CE. CE is 7 minus 0, which is 7. And so that's not congruent. By the way, if you forgot what congruent means, it's like this really generic term that means they're the same. In angles, congruency means that the measures are the same number, so it's the same number of degrees. In segments, it means the lengths are the same. So if it's in meters, it's the same number of meters. It's kind of like equal, but it's a catch-all term for lots of different things. CD is 5 minus 0, so it is 5. This is 5. This is 5, so I can say that CD is congruent to AB. Let's do BD just because. Uh, 5 minus negative 2. 5 minus negative 2 is 7, so that's not right. And it can't be none because we already found one. Incidentally enough, CE and BD are congruent. So you could show that they are congruent if you wanted to. Whatever, you know, CE congruent. And I write the worst congruent symbol ever, CE congruent to BD, because they're the same length. 
That's ruler postulate. It's very simple. You shouldn't have any trouble with it. Just make sure you do minus negative if you have a negative on the left. And you should be good. Good luck.